I think if there is one thing that will not leave KRA or will always be an egg that will always be on the face of KRA is corruption. Because uh, we were just talking about the uh, Audi uh, Gen uh, Auditor General's report and the missed target by KRA, especially just from an income tax perspective where ETIMS is not. And you can see the huge numbers. But what are the issues, uh, 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 Michelle, with KRA? The implementation issues have not been dealt with and are never dealt with going forward. And as we can see right now, the reason why corruption is so much there because the technocrats at Treasury, by the time they are budgeting, they know that KRA is going to be able to implement. But the corruption issue comes in the picture and it blurs everything. Yet, it makes KRA look so unapologetic mm -hmm. to even not meeting its targets, you know. And that is now where we feel like even the legislatures here have failed us because they are the people on the ground. Because mm -hmm. they are the people who should be understanding the business temperature and climate and coming back to advice so that there is a reconciliation between what they are given by, the people planning at Treasury, they come reconcile with what is happening on the ground so that even before it goes to KRA for implementation, mm. even the executive, the president has the right or can be able to understand what are the issues and they are amended well in time. And let's just look at the finance bill, for example. Why did it even go to the first reading before contentious issues were addressed? Mm. Then, when it comes to corruption and the issue of revenue collection, can we ask ourselves as a country, or I don't know at what level that this happens, to say that why then are we not getting where we, are we, uh, we were supposed to go? Because I'm sure everything happens strategically, Michelle, and I can tell you that strategically,